Well, welcome to Coffee with Gaz. Uh, Michael Lopez in the house. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the cafe. This is like the pop up. We're not in the other, other spot. We're doing a little setup here. Mm. You threw me off though. Dude, I drink. Co- I, I literally drink too much coffee. You do. And you're super high energy. And I just found out you don't drink coffee at all. No, I don't. I really don't. In like, fact, is, is the that only always coffee, like that? the only coffee I drink in the morning is on a Saturday. Like around nine o'clock in the morning, I have a little Cuban coffee. Okay. Small one. Okay. Get ready for the day. That's really the only way I drink coffee. But during the week, absolutely not. Interesting. Work, work gives me gives me energy. I mean, I, coming I, over here gives me energy. I don't think you need coffee because hmm. you're super high energy anyway. So. Oh man, you guys, man, I bring it. I bring it on like you guys bring it on. <laughs> I just bring it on in a different way. Now, now I'm actually scared. Yeah, don't drink coffee because to see you with more energy is a little intimidating. The thing about coffee with me puts me up, keeps me up for a little bit, and then you crash, crash, man. So for me, it doesn't benefit me. In the long run. All right. Well, That's why I'd rather take it natural, maybe some water. I'm not mad. It's more coffee for me. So I know. That's why you say you drink too much. That's, that's because f- it's because of people like me. Well, I leave you. it there for you. Th- thank you for that. Thank you for looking out, man. You're welcome. Cheers. Oh, watch out. Can't be touching the, the cups. You know what's up. Yeah, we don't want to. Well, you know wanna, what's going on now, right? We don't want to. Well, no, I wash my hands. We're me careful. Too. This, is a, uh, this is a containment-free zone. You've been, uh, most people don't know. We've known each other since FIU. We played ball together. Absolutely. You were the... Uh, you stroked me out a couple of times. We were on the same team. Well, I'm talking about during scrimmages and stuff like that. Yeah, we, we were. you were a competitive. You were a freshman. I was a senior. Yes, sir. That's right. Yeah, man. First base. I remember you came in, dude, out of high school, and you played right away, which is coming out of high school, playing at a Division One school. Right? Yeah, yeah dude, man. And, it felt and, amazing. And it's funny because you, you've always... Um, we obviously... <clears throat> I went on to graduate. You stayed on for a few more years. Right. But I do remember you, even being 18 years old, always being like that high energy, hard worker, super hard work ethic. It always impressed me. Like I've, I say now, I've always told you, I've always liked you since day one. So oh, man. I, I've on loved camera. you since day one, man. <laughs> I have like, <laughs> I like too. You love me. I like that. That's a good relationship. That's a good relationship. One's got to give more than the other. Of course, man. That's what it's all about. But you, you know, it made it easy, you know, to be like that around people like you guys. Your story is interesting. You've been now a producer for 12 months. We just had your one-year anniversary, work anniversary. Yep. About a couple of weeks ago. Yep. Um, and, and then I remember like a year ago when, when, you, appro- when you, you actually approached Fernie, myself, and, and, and Doug, that you wanted to, you're in the insurance game, but you wanted to get kind of a different feel on the property and casualty. Um, what's that transition been like for you? It's been, honestly, at the beginning, you don't know what, you, what to expect. You just go in it. You know, like like you said, my ethics to me was always something that kind of pushed me forward into doing things that I never even thought I could do. So for me to go from the life and health side for the last 10 years to all of a sudden switch over to the property and casualty side, yeah, it's a, even though it's insurance, it's a different ballgame. So you got to li- di- learn different lingo, kind of know how to approach things in a different way. It's 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 all around a different way of playing the game because so you were in the in the supplemental benefit business correct correct which which had i mean you basically had like two two bullets or two moves two right products you were working with well i was doing life insurance i was doing supplemental benefits like aflac right benefits so we do cancer critical illness um short-term long-term disability i mean we had over nine ten different policies that we'd work on as well okay. so you had to have knowledge on different products up front to kind of be ahead of the game as well sure. and that's how i learned so um to go again to to transfer over to this side then you have you have more than nine products that, to learn that, and that <laughs> and that's where again like for you do you're one of the hardest workers i know so it's not work ethic is not a problem now it's just it, it's almost too much information right, right. property and casualty is such a big field I know, I know certain people like to focus on certain you know whether it's industries or, or certain niches or niches i don't even know how, is it niches or niche niche niche, niche. 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 I put. I say niche. Yeah, one of the, that's one of the more. I, I'm still not sold on that. We gotta verify that. I'm not. I'm not sold on the whole niche. Niche. Google. You gotta look that up. Uh, a little audio play. But it's it's gotten it, here. It's almost like it, it, there's so many different opportunities that it can be overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Um, and I and I know us just talking now. It's just kind of, you know, keeping it simple right now. Like focusing on one, two, three, and four, right. and not getting overwhelmed. Because even me, man, I've been doing this now 15 years. I, I still learn every day. 
Right. Um, new products coming out. Older products are changing. Forms are changing. Um, even where it's more guidelines, are guidelines, changing. appetites. Everything. Right. I, mean, it, I think that's what makes it exciting that every day we get to kind of learn something new. Right. Um, but but I could I, and how are you focusing on trying to keep that? Like how are you balancing so much information? Like is there anything you're doing specifically? Like how are you kind of keeping it like simple? Honestly, whatever's still my way, I learn as it goes. Plus, I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a great support system. I have producers around me. You guys, everybody here, I mean, techs to the CSRs to everybody included. We're talking about teamwork here. Yeah. That helps me learn every day. So I come here literally with open ears. While I'm even talking to my clients on the phone on one ear, I'm listening to producers like Kevin, Liz, Carl, Chris, Marco. You know, they're really all, always on my side. Because I'm usually there, I'm sitting down all day. But that to me is is knowledge, and that to me is experience. And of course, going out there, trying to look for business, you know, trying to f- find a lead, trying to f- get a lead, a referral from yeah. a current it's, client, it's a current client, you know, client. Yeah. and just kind of touching up. And like you guys taught me, is go after everybody, let them know what you're doing now, because a lot of people think you're still doing the life and health side. Yeah, which, and, and they have you in a box. Correct. I think you've been doing like I mean, that. You, like, yeah. you were in a certain space for ten years. I mean, right. man. I, so even even me in property and casualty, people still put me in a box. Like I might have put together a, a workers' comp or, or business policy for a client, and they they just they, they don't think I can help them with their personal stuff, right? Or their stuff out of state. Correct. Um, and that's just me in this specific field. Your biggest challenge, and we talked about it, is how do you get even even people that you've grown up with because uh, you developed a career. In the health life space, how do they right. start to figure and, and take you out of the box and put you like, oh, yeah, Michael Lopez can help me in X? I mean, uh, th- that's something I'm still trying to adapt to. And I see it takes a little bit of time for people to kind of adjust to that. I, I know how I was in, in the life and health side for the first year or so. It was kind of like the same thing I'm experiencing right now. Yeah. But then you kind of get comfortable with it because once you feel time is going through and you, you really put your work into it, and you learn the products and you kind of keep yourself updated, you you want to stay up track. You know, if you're not up to date, you're always going to be behind. Yeah. That's how I see it. So, w- again, you guys took a, a big chance on me because that transfer from one year to the next is no, not common well, well, in, that, in that area, you I, know? I don't think it was a chance. I mean, I, I, I know you. I've known your work ethic. It's, I, again, it's, it's, it's difficult and most people jumping and, and, again, you went into the deep end. Most right. people do quit. I mean, this is hard, right? I mean, right. not only just insurance, and most people, nobody likes insurance. I don't care. Even we, even I don't. Yeah, I, I mean, not <laughs> that I don't like it. I mean, personally, like, who likes to really talk about insurance as, like, it's a great thing, you know? Yeah, right. you want to you wanna do your, your service is what you're proud about and the products that you believe in to help your clients or who, even yourself because... You have to pay for insurance. You have to pay for homeowners. You got to pay for yeah, auto. And, and, and most people's experiences aren't necessarily pleasant. Right. Right. So, and, and I don't blame them for that. But, but besides the past experiences and then just competition, like there's literally insurance. I mean, we grew up, we're, we're both born and raised South Florida. Right. Um, I guarantee, I mean, we just know, just go through our phone. We'll know just literally competitors. And, and I mean, there's enough business to go around. But the point is right. like, there's always somebody close to any one of our clients right. who do this for a living. Right. And then it becomes, why not, why me, or why not them? Right. right. And then it becomes the service, products, uh, product knowledge. Um, I think that's kind of the hardest part. People get into it right away, assuming they got 10, th- their 10 closest people are going to help them. Right. I mean, and that's, that is the, that's, that's the biggest landmine you could do getting in any career, I think. Right. Trying to get into something, expecting other people to help. Right, um, but no, but you're taking the long term approach. You're you're you're, you're literally gr- I hate the word grind. I think we say that a lot. Right, you're grinding it out. You, right. you made it through the first year. You made it. Most people give up um, going commission only as a producer their first year. Right, they don't make it. Yeah, I mean, I I see why because a lot of people don't like to I guess take a chance. You know, I don't mind. <clears throat> I don't mind taking a chance. I, do, <clears throat> and, excuse me, but do you think you took a chance? Right. You, you're married, you just had a son, yep. and you're still doing it. Yeah. I think did I tell you not to do it? I think I told you not to, right? You told me not to. That's like a theme. But to I, me I to me, to. honestly, like somebody when somebody tells me not to or you can't that that happened to me going pro, like just just so you know, going into FIU, 
because I played ball with you, like you said. Yeah. But prior to going into FIU, I played at Columbus for four years. My first year in Columbus, I played in the freshman team. The reason why is because I walked on as just a freshman. I, I went to Columbus pl- thinking I was going to go play basketball. I okay. didn't play baseball for three years prior to that. Like, I, I didn't even swing a bat for three years. I just went on to just one of those walk-on trials that they I, just I, tell I, you. I didn't know that. They just tell you, walk on here. Go and swing a bat if you want. Go out there. And we these should, guys are all we're all dressed up in our middle school uniforms or travel right, teams, you right, know? Yeah. And people are, I mean, Columbus at that point was ranked three or four in the name. We had like eight players I mean, getting I mean, drafted I mean, out of high school. It's it's, it's, it's a big time <clears throat> talent pool. A lot of, right. you know, growing up here, like a lot of, a lot of athletes go there specifically for, for the baseball program. I mean, right. education too, but just athletically, right. it's one of the better schools down here. At that point, it was, you know, to me, and I, I felt, you know what, let me just go out there. I played baseball since I was five years old, Dude, you know? I, I still, we should send this video to all the dads that are stressing out about their kids playing all year round. No, man. Are you Dude, like, like, it, it's, it, you it is, I mean, it's one of those things. And now I think it's with, now I think there's too much, right? Like right. kids are playing, it's, it's every season. Right. Um, every well, you get like a month off or a couple weeks off, and it's just becoming these travel teams that, mm-hmm. and it's getting like a lot. It's it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming for these kids. for the kids. But you, you didn't. That, that's when you know, like, look, you're talented. You're talented. You didn't play for middle school, which I did. Is which is kind of. I, I did. In fact, my my middle school team was trying to get me to play with them, and I was like, no, I just want to play basketball. So you always had that little lefty swing, the Ken Griffey. That's it. And I just swung and hit a couple balls over the fence that day. And next thing you know, I was playing as a freshman. Moved into varsity my my sophomore year. I ended up starting, and then I got a full ride to FIU um, my junior year. That's awesome, man. I didn't know that that small detail. I, I would signed it. I would have. I would have assumed you were just playing baseball like all year round. Just you, because you, 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 you. I mean, you love. I love it. sports. Right. You've always I been a hustler. Sports. I remember you out there running around. Yeah. You always had that energy. Yeah, man. I love it. I, I love it. That. I love it. That's that's nice. We should save that. I'll send it to all the dads on our kids' don't teams. Don't quit, man. Not don't quit, but don't it, it's okay if you take a if you take a few yeah. months off. No, the guy told one guy told else. me, hey, look, you won't play first base in college. Just so you know. You're too short, you're not big enough. I'm like, all right, that's fine. That to me drove me to go, you know, into FIU trying to prove something, you know? Yeah, but have you always been like that, taking no's? Because some people, again, we, we always talk about rejection and then this is sales, but... Constructive criticism to me is important how you react, you know? Like anything. We're not perfect. We're always going to make mistakes. Every day, we're going to make one mistake. You're not perfect every day. Like, you literally can't wake up and go to sleep that same day and say, hey, I did everything perfect. You can't. No one's perfect. So, no. to me, it's like, you know... I believe in criticism. I want to hear what I could do to get better. I don't care about what I'm doing bad at the moment. It's learning at the moment or learning about that moment going forward and then just striving and learn from your mistakes. You get I mean, me? I mean, your mindset, that's why you're going to be successful no matter what. And this now and then previously, like you, most people can't handle that. You know, most people just don't, mentally, they, they don't have that fortitude. Right. Again, Sports prepared us for this. I mean, I get it. Like you know, yeah. and and I think, but, but being able to to handle, take criticism and and spin it right. Some people right. they they kind of shut down. Some and, and everybody's motivated in different ways. But, right. But um, yeah, man, that's why that's why you're gonna crush it in this business. Yeah, I hope in life in general. I hope, man. No, right now, you know what's my the best job I have other than this job is being a father, man, and a husband. Amen. That's that's what keeps me going too. How old is your son now? He's gonna be one in on the twenty sixth. So right now you, you were a new weeks. dad, and then you started. That's right. I started here, and uh, your son that, was about to be born, and he was about to be born. Let's and you're smiling. You're still smiling, man. You're still smiling. Let's do this. So your, your energy is contagious, man. I love it. But <laughs> you just, guys give it to me, man, too. So we, I appreciate that, mm-hmm. and that's the reason why I stuck, I, I'm here too. I mean, I don't want to be anywhere else. <clears throat> I find it here as as calm as and positive as it is at home. I think we do a great job here of, uh, call it the, the organized chaos. I love that. It's true. We you are. Know, everybody comes from other, from other places and the phones are ringing, but the phones ring low. Like everyone's always on the phone. Everyone's doing right. something, but for, you know, and I think collectively we all work as a team. So there's just like a, yeah. there's a calmness <laughs> out there. I, I like the organized chaos. We call it the, the pit or you on, on producer row. Oh yeah. I love that. I love everything the tr- oh, about the, tr- the trenches. The trenches. I like the focus room. 
Okay. Because I go here, I just look out there while I'm talking to a client, and then see a bird just pull up out of nowhere. It, it's it's <laughs> funny, and, and I do it too. I always know. I always know when someone's on a sales call because. Everybody's always walking around. Yeah. Everybody's always pacing on the cell phone, right? It keeps it's kind of it's kind of going. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when you're trying energy, to, when man. you're trying to quote unquote, you know, close a deal. Right. Um, I see you do it, John Michael Juan Munoz is the most famous for it. Yeah, no. Juan, Juan <laughs> he, he might come Juan, out with Juan a... might as well kind of steps on his Fitbit because he's just literally pacing up and down the <laughs> office the whole time. You shouldn't even have a chair. Just let him walk the whole time. He's, he's awesome, funny, man. man. He is funny. The, but it, it's true about the 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 organized chaos, man. You're a big part of it too, like, and that's kind of why. I like doing this. By the way, no, my, no Instagram, Mikey Lopez. We gotta, we gotta change it. We should, we should. We, we gotta get Juan and, and Lou and Johnny to get you right. on there. Well, I'll leave it up to them. They're the, they're the media guys. They're the, they're the media guys. The brains behind the operations. That's right. Right. I give it to them. We, we gotta get you on there. I, I, but, <laughs> but the point of this too is to get you on. Like, I, I, I like, just showing you off because you're right. a big part of why like. This environment and this culture special. Right. Like, dude, you being successful, that's as gratifying for me. Like, I want you to have a long career. So, that's why all the little things like we do together is to ensure that, you know, at least for me, I know Doug, Fernie, like our peace of mind, that we're putting you in the best position to succeed. Um, I really appreciate you and everything you really, your, your, your drive, your passion, your energy you bring to the office mm -hmm. makes a big difference, man. So, I appreciate you. I'm glad you're on my team.